What's up everybody, Benoit here and welcome to Tactical Fellowship. Go ahead, hit that like button if you thought Thor Ragnarok was an awesome movie and why not subscribe if just like me, you need a SIG 1911 light bearing holster. I want to shoot this thing open division with my 10 round mags and my flashlight on it and I know this doesn't make any sense but I just want to shoot it the way I want to shoot it and I don't care what place I come in as long as it's not last place. I'm not okay with last place. So the issue that SIG 1911 owners have is the hood profile. It's aesthetically pleasing but it's not your normal hood profile so you have a problem finding holsters that fit let alone a company making a holster for the SIG 1911 with the light bearing option on it but I believe I have found an option for you. And what you're looking at here is the Odin outside the waistband Falkland for the five inch six hour 1911 with rails. The Kydex is OD green as is the corduroy outer layer. It has the Surefire X300AB light bearing option and open bottom holster cut. And I got it with a paddle, which I immediately took off and replaced with a large blade tech team MS, which took a little bit more work than I was hoping it would and a little bit more on that later. And here's what I like about it. I got mine three days past the six week specified order time and for a custom order, I don't think that's too bad. And this was also during the spring during the COVID-19 pandemica. I like that it does what a Kydex holster is supposed to do. Absolutely no surprises. And I like that it has good screw recess pockets. I ran out of super short screws when I was installing the TMMS and had to use slightly longer ones and they still didn't poke out of the pocket far enough to cause any harm. Here's what I'm not so sure about. The trigger guard cut isn't rounded off, it's like a hard 90, and my fingers have bumped into it instead of sliding over and around it, like my other holsters, keeping me from getting good initial purchase. I mean, I'll train around it, no big deal, but I just wanted to mention to you guys anyways. And the OD outer layer isn't as subdued OD as I thought it was gonna be. It's kind of like a brighter green. Kind of wish it was a little bit more OD, but whatever. An additional thought I had for you guys, I mentioned earlier in the intro, the pre-drilled holes on the back of the holster didn't line up with the Bladetech TMMS. So I had to get my drill and open up the left right top holes that were off of the pre-drilled ones by like maybe two eighths of an inch. But remember this holster is built as a G-code accessory ready holster. So keep that in mind if you have Bladetech stuff. All in all, this is a solid, basic, and functional holster that accommodates the unicorn request of SIG 1911 users needing that light bearing option. If I could get a level two retention hood on it, then it would be absolutely perfect. Speaking of which, Red River Tactical Holsters makes that great level two, and I did send them a custom request asking if they could make a SIG 1911 light bearing holster, and after a few months of waiting for a response, I gave up and gave Odin Holster a try, and they won. Well, that's all I got for you, and I really hope this helps you out. As always, drive fast, shoot straight, and I'll see you next time.